Newport Beaches Banning Ranch, the largest undeveloped private coastal site in Southern California, moved closer this week to becoming a prized public nature preserve, potentially in a league with Upper Newport Bay, the Bolsa Chica Wetlands and Torrey Pines State Reserve. After more than two decades of battling development proposals for the 401-acre parcel that abuts Pacific Coast Highway, environmentalists are celebrating the Thursday, May 20, announcement that the Trust for Public Land has reached an agreement with the landowner to purchase 384 acres of the site for $97 million. This is historic, said Guillermo Rodriguez, state director for the Trust. It's a signal that this is real, that this is no longer a dream. The next hurdle is raising the additional $47 million needed to close the deal by the June 30, 2022, deadline. Rodriguez said the $50 million already in hand, donated in 2019 by Newport Beach developer and philanthropist Frank Randall and his wife, Joanne, was key in bringing the landowner to the negotiating table. We're highly confident that between public and private dollars, we can raise the rest, said Rodriguez adding that the lion's share of the remaining money is likely to come from state and federal coffers. We believe the opportunity for wetlands and habitat restoration, and for public use, will make this attractive for public funding, he said. We hope to cover any shortfall with private investment. In addition to wetlands, the land includes a broad topographic range of habitat, including arroyos and coastal bluffs. Though it became an oil field in the 1940s, most of the surface land has been untouched by development. Of the more than 400 wells once operating on the property, only about 60 remain active. Terms of the sales agreement call for the landowner, Newport Banning Ranch LLC, to clean up the abandoned oil operations. Active oil operations are expected to be consolidated on the 17 acres of land not included in the agreement with the trust. This is a big deal, said Terry Welsh, who began fighting development at site 22 years ago and is the president of the Banning Ranch Conservancy. We're not there yet, but we're closer than we've ever been. The location, just inland of Pacific Coast Highway and east of the Santa Ana River, has been eyed for development since at least 1997, when a 1-750 home neighborhood was proposed. Plans were scaled back at least twice, with the most recent proposal calling for 895 homes, a resort hotel and retail shops on 70 acres. That plan was rejected in 2016 by the California Coastal Commission, which cited environmental concerns. At the same time, the Banning Ranch Conservancy was in the middle of a lawsuit and a series of appeals in which it challenged the developer's 2012 environmental impact report and the city's subsequent approval of the project.